Hello and welcome to the Wolf Den. My name is Fulton Elda and today we are starting our final adventure in Rapture in the Bioshock universe. Unless a Bioshock 4 is just around the corner, who knows, nobody knows. The Minerva DLC. We started with Bioshock 1, didn't complete that. Continued with Bioshock Infinite, went back to Bioshock 1, completed that. Back to Bioshock Infinite DLC, then to Bioshock 2. And now it's time to just finish this story. And I'm really looking forward to see what the Minerva DLC has to offer for us. So, without any further ado, let's get started with the extras. Play down downloadable content. We're not gonna do the protector trials. I think that is just guiding a little sister somewhere. It doesn't seem too interesting, but we're just gonna continue with the story, the Minerva's the the Minerva's den. That's it. Well, okay then. Minerva's then, uh, yeah, let's just start. I have no clue what this part of the story is going to be. So, let's find out. Uh, we've played a lot of shooters by now, but let's just stick to medium. Keep it at least a little bit on the easier side for me. 1968 Rapture. So that, that takes place after all the events of Bioshock 1, I believe. Subject Sigma is approaching Minerva's den. He must not reach the Thinker. Detonate the tunnel! Oh dear. Okay, we're getting thrown right into the middle of this. Interesting. So, who is the Thinker? Some time later. How long later? No matter how long later, we certainly took a beating. Oh. Seriously, big daddies are resilient as heck, my god. So we are uh, Subject Sigma or something? Hmm. Well, it's back into the water. Uh, yeah, L logic tells me don't go over here, but curiosity says explore. And there is nothing to be seen. Okay, got it. Well... So who is this thinker? Why were we heading to Minerva's den? Oh... Hello, Mr. Sigma? Hi. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. The name's Porter. Charles Milton Porter. Doc Tenenbaum tells me you're here to help us get the thinker out of Rapture. It's not going to be easy, but nothing worth doing ever is. You should be able to get inside through an airlock. Okay, can you tell me who this thinker is, why we're getting him out of Rapture, and what has Tenenbaum to do with this? Interesting. Also, I see an Adam Slug. Hi. I will gladly take you. Does it mean there are multiple Adam Slugs over here? Quite possibly. Am I going to gather them all? Not likely. Definitely not likely. Well, let's continue to this airlock, if we can find it, at least. Ooh, hi. Okay, if I find them, I will take them. But I'm not gonna go out of my way to s search through this entire underwater area just to find one or two more slugs. Um, this way we go. So, question. Tenenbaum, did she ever make it out of Rapture? We did not see her again after that beginning intro in Bioshock 2, so... Did she make it out? Is this taking place before Bioshock 2? Taking place after Bioshock 2? Oh, hi. Hey. <laughs> okay, now I'm just finding them randomly. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure how this fits in the timeline with everything. But, okay. Uh, 
And yeah, I kind of feel like exploring just a bit here, since there are quite a few of these Adam Slugs right now. So in that case, I'm just going to take them all. Okay, that should be it. Which means... Uh, can we... Get over here? Yeah, perfect. Airlock for us. So... Right into Minerva's den. Sweet. So the thinker. Not sure. Minerva's den has been cut off from the rest of Rapture for some time. But not cut off from splicing. Don't let your guard down. The den's gone dark, but if you can reset the local power relay, I'll be able to get the juice flowing from here. So how long has it been cut off from the rest? Also, we only have telekinesis, I think, and the drill. That does not leave a lot of room for weaponry. Uh, first aid kit, I will take that. I'm going to need it. Uh, don't need all of that. Okay, restore the power. Uh, I don't think that is where we need to be, but okay. I see an audiograph. What have we got? I'm being wary of splices. Your link of the chain. Well, let's hear it. Mr. Porter. Let me be the first to congratulate you on the founding of Rapture Central Computing. The great chain only grows stronger with each pair of hands laid upon it. I trust that you and I will choose to pull Rapture in the same direction. Okay, cool. So... Yeah, this is... Certainly the technology heavy place of Rapture. So when it was cut off, how much damage did that do to the rest of Rapture? Uh, okay, what have we got? I'm expecting splices at any given moment. Also, yeah, that looks heavily damaged. I know, loot containers, all that kind of stuff. And knowing that the DLC from Bioshock Infinite didn't allow you to get everything, I'm going to have to be careful with what kinds of abilities and weapons and everything and upgrades I pick. Okay, but for now, let us move on. No sign of any splices just yet. Airtight archives. Interesting. Minerva's Den, Rapture's Technology Center. Okay. Uh, the McLeedon Robotics and the Airtight uh, Archives, yeah. Um, I don't think we can go over here, I don't think we even want to. Hello there. Hi. Welcome to Minerva's Den, the home of Rapture's high technology. Mine. The, not Minerva's Den, but mine. It's mine. Keep out. Uh, what is going on here? Um... Brain of Rapture, yeah. So, exactly, when this place got cut off, how much damage did that do? And also, do you have any goodies by any chance? Doesn't look like it. Okay, not sure what to think of all of this. I have no clue. I'm terrible at math, so all of this makes no sense at all to me. None. Uh, tip top security. What steps into Minerva's den? Porter's newest toy? He wants to think her for himself. Ah, but you see, old friend, the machine has chosen me. Okay, good for you, Mr. Reed. Not sure what you're trying to do to stop me, but... Uh, all of this is a bit of misery. Porter is traitor. Uh, makes sense, perhaps. I'm not sure where this is going to go, but we have a fight chamber, so if stuff goes wrong, I'm expecting me to be linked to these things. <laughs> Makes sense at least. Uh, property of Reed Wall. Mine. Exactly. So, yeah. No. Could. You. Not. Okay. I have no way to fight against these guys. Oh, uh, what? 
Are you fighting each other? Reed Wall. He and I founded Rapture Central Computing together, but the greedy bastard pushed me out years ago. The splicers, the security. He pulls the strings in Minerva's den now. Well, that sort of looks like it. Uh, is he gonna be a, a big problem for us? I'm guessing, but... Hey, he just blew up an access tunnel to stop you from getting close. Of course he's going to be an issue. Uh, alpha series these days. I would like to know the details. It would have been nice knowing that those were nearby. Ooh, uh, I'll take that. Oh, camera. Where? There is a bot shutdown panel over there. Okay, good to know. I do not want to get trapped. I need... I can't hack this. Uh, that is interesting. I can't hack it because I need to restore the power, that's why. Okay, where the hell do we need to go? Ooh, hi. And a, a what? A dead lancer. That's a new big daddy. Oh dear. Uh, laser cells, lots of dollars. First aid kit, I'll take that. Uh, we got more laser cells and a freaking ion laser. Okay. Cool. Uh, in this case, let us restore the power. Look at you, Sigma. You think that Porter is your ally, but the Thinker knows better. The Thinker knows. Does he? Okay. Uh, instant spider splice. Oh. Okay. Um, that is. I'm liking this weapon. The power is rerouted. That should tip things in our favor. Head up to my office in the executive wing. I've got something you'll need. Hurry now. Yeah, I will hurry. I like this weapon. It's a freaking laser. How far? The oh, it reaches far. That is glorious. Okay. Um. Anyway, looting. There is a lot of corpses here. I don't think a lot of them have stuff. Uh. Property of Reed Wall, yeah. Anyway, that's where we're going. Hi, are you the laser cell? Yes, you are. Well, let's quickly take a look around, see what we can get. And also, can we get stuff from over here? Can we hack you? Yes, now we can finally hack you. Good to know. Because I would like to get some free stuff. What's the secret of Rapture uh, you I will take, you I will take. And... Yeah, just the basic stuff. The well, let's world. make this place the ours. Bigger. You also, come on, you are completely mine. Yes, I know all about it. I have played Bioshock 2 by now and 1 and everything. Okay, well, uh, McLean's Robotics is most likely just locked off from us, but hi, I see you. The Thinker's Potential. Porter and I are part. Wasting that machine. In off hours, I've been using it to predict the outcomes of baseball games, and it is incredibly accurate. Apply such equations to Rapture's markets. This thing is the money making grail. But Porter, I have heard them feeding it recordings of his dead wife. The fool wants to turn the thinker into a person. I could not imagine a sadder fate for such a perfect machine. Ooh, that is an interesting one. So we have a really powerful machine over here in Rapture, in Minerva's Den. That is able to record stuff co or predict match outcomes and everything quite well. Indeed, putting it on the stock markets and everything might result in some very interesting things. But having a pure machine, that's never a good idea. To turn it more into a person with feelings, perhaps? That could be good, maybe. Like, you give it feelings and everything. It, it avoids the entire concept of, Hey, machine is going to take over the world. Because it has feelings. Or something along those lines. Anyway, you are mine. I know. Give me all the stuff. 
I'm going to guess this is a, a little bit of a hub at the beginning, so I need all of this. So just give me a few moments and we'll be ready. I've done this way too often by now. <laughs> I'll take that, thank you. And... Place sells the normal stuff. Well, we're good. So this is not where we need to go. And we can't even go there. I'm just gonna follow the quest arrow and see where we end up. Rapture co Central Computing. And... Read the wall. Hi. Nice to know you. And you're the trader. Cool. Very cool. Moving on... Uh, yeah, watch out for security cameras. Avoid security cameras, destroy them or hack them to your side. I'm going to hack them to my side. I... Can I... Yes, thank you. I would love to have you on my side. It's always nice to have some eyes at your back. Which means... Okay, that could also work. Security command. Take control of Rapture security with security command. Enemy security and your own friendly bot and turrets will follow the blue ball and attack with deadly force. Uh, this plasmid has never truly been that useful to me. Mostly because the other plasmids were more useful. But right now, I'll take it. Trick the security system. Divert bots, turrets and cameras to attack where you choose. Send friendly bots on errands. Send friendly bots on errands. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, fire a serves to distract enemy security or wave on your own bots. I don't see how that is that useful. I'm better off just hacking stuff when I can. Um, okay, what else have we got? More first aid kits. I don't need any of them at the moment. But I might need them in the future. So, does this lead anywhere? Or... Okay, we have a fighter chamber. Yeah, this is good. Mm, nope, nope. I. Yeah, I don't have any hack darts at the moment. So, a turret! Okay, can I? Uh, can you go over there? No. Can you focus over there? You need to be mine. Okay, here we go. Come on. Uh, <sighs> bloody hell. Well, at least it worked. Okay, I'm taking my words back. This plasma is cool. I like it. <laughs> and it gives me sports boost. You have picked up your first gene tonic. I like sports boost because it means more damage. Or, uh, no, it wasn't more damage. It was just faster movement speed. In today's dangerous times, it never hurts to be a little faster. Remember, you don't have to outrun the craze splicer. Just your neighbor. Well, here we go. First one. Uh... Hi, can I... Filing cabinet? I, s I see something. There are dollars stuck in there. Can I take those? Come on. Come on. I see them. There we go. Thank you. Okay. Ooh, and audio recording. And a purse. Liking it. What have we got? The thinker. Mr. Ryan hired me to build a computer that could keep an entire city running on time. The Rapture Operational Data Interpreter Network. Folks call it the Thinker for short. We've harnessed the power of Adam even in this, allowing the mainframe to process data at the speed of thought. In other words, it thinks for us. Yes. And with the completion of the independent reasoning processor, it may finally think for itself. Turing could see me now. Which begs the question, can you indeed turn a machine that powerful into something which is just pure intelligence? Not artificial, but actual intelligence. Anyway, Gatherer's Garden, uh, and I see a broken down bot, I'm guessing. Can I do something with you? Um, Gene Slot Eve upgrades. Oh, I might want to keep a little bit of Adam right now. I don't know how else I'm gonna get it, but some of this other stuff might be more useful in the long run to me. So, uh, Tenenbaum can provide you with a bonus tonic if you complete the protected trials. Complete all of the trials, then return to a gatherer's garden to receive the master protected tonic. And we're not gonna do that, no. It is a nice way to make you play through that, but no. Okay, so, you. 
can you focus on at least you are a turret right I think no, it's not a turret. Those vacuum bots sucked up all sorts of things before they went on the fritz. Crack one open, and you might find something you can use. Is a vacuum bot? <laughs> okay, how do we just whack them? That works. Destroy the vacuum bots of Minerva then. Uh, dollars, first aid kits. Okay, interesting. I'll keep an eye out for those. I mean... The place is messy in general. Vacuum bots have no purpose here anymore because they can't do anything here. Vacuum tubes, each with its own function, its own Hi, purpose. anyone here? Purpose. Yes, someone here. No. I'm, I want to focus on him. Can you do that please, turret? Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm certainly taking back my words. Okay, um, can you focus on there, please? And then, no, right over there, right over there. You are on my side. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Okay, ow, oh. Dear God, I did not see you arriving there. Can you please go? Thank you, same goes to you. No, stop moving. Come on. There we go. Much better. So, bots on my side, a uh, bit damaged, not really happy with that. Okay, what have we got? Drill fuel, I'm okay with that. I am kind of missing my dash forward that I had in Bioshock 2. I might get that at a later point, but right now it's like, eh, uh, I miss the ability. Okay, I'll take that, take that. Uh, anything else? No, not really. Okay. Okay. Ooh, hi. Uh, you don't do anything for me, unfortunately. Okay, is there anything else here? No. Is so what? Uh, never wet. Waterproofing. They have not been doing a good job here. <laughs> Keep water out with never wet. Even works on electri electrics. That. You know, maybe they have been doing a good job, because otherwise this water would be electrified completely. Uh, anyway, we have a safe. I would like to see what's inside of you. There we go. Uh, can I get a green or a blue bonus, please? There we go. I need the money. Lots of dollars. And I am full of laser cells. I need to use them more often. Can't use you. Uh, no tonics or anything over here. Uh, doesn't look like it. No, in that case, no. Hang on, hi. You're not sneaking up on me. No, go away, go away. You two, come on. There we go. Freaking spider splices. And they don't even have that much stuff. Why? Okay, what are we dealing with? By the way, I am so gonna miss all of those vacuum bots. Was that really necessary? Enemies on fire take continual damage. I know, but... What? Oh... Can you not? Please. Goodbye. Okay, um, anything cramfield stuff. Like supplies are completely fried. So what exactly sets you on fire like that? Uh, is that a... That's a weapon. Right? Or... Yup, spear gun. Oh yes, you found the... The upgraded spear gun. The acceleration upgrade increases spear velocity and decreases refire time. So I'm instantly... The thinker's perfect equation has predicted your every move, Sigma. Did it? It knew you would be here. It knows where you will be next. And it knows that you will fail. It might need to do a different calculation, because I I might miss a few shots, Rawls but... become obsessed with perfecting his predictive equation. 
The thinker can do plenty, but tell the future? No. The splicing drove him mad. Wall can rot here in rapture for all I care. We'll make a copy of the thinker and return it to the land of the living. Well, precise predicting the future? Yeah, that is indeed not going to work. But if you take in account all the different kinds of equations, all the different factors like uh, what is my purpose? What is my goal? How do I shoot? How is my aiming? It can predict failure. You know that the thinker processes the equivalent of 12,000 encyclopedias every day? The thinker works hard for rapture. He certainly does, which indeed begs the question, uh, is this going to be good to bring this to the surface world? Like, this is kind of the, the technology that gets abused. Uh, what are you? Electromagnetic lock. Yeah, what is this? Some doors are locked magnetically. Nearby resistor relays regulate the flow of power to the electromagnets. Dislodging the resistors using gravity well will disable the mag lock opening the door. That sounds like a whole lot of mumbo jumbo that I know nothing about. I have a lot left to learn here. Predicting the future through equations is an interesting concept. Once you can calculate precisely how someone thinks, you can predict their every move and action. They're perhaps not 100% accurate, but still quite cool.